Today's topic's going to make some of you happy and it will be helpful. And for others, it's going to ruffle your feathers. Cruising with kids. Some of us bring our kids on cruises because we can't leave them at home. Maybe we don't have babysitters and we want to cruise. We love to cruise. Some of us bring our children on cruises because we want them to be there. We plan vacation around them and their schedules. And there's some of us out there who say, kids do not belong on cruise ships. I hate those little rascals. Well, we just got done cruising with our kids. March and I learned a lot. Let's talk about some tips and tricks of cruising with kids right now on Island Time. A big hello to all you Islanders. Welcome back to Island Time and today's show, Cruising with Kids and Families. I have 20 tips and tricks for cruising with your kiddos. We're gonna to get to in just a second. I'm thankful we get to spend some time in the islands together today. And before we start this huge list, which I'm going to run through like an auctioneer to keep this video short, we're giving something away. We had a live show uh, just a couple of nights ago. I said I would give something, something away, so here we go. There's 22 eligible names, 22 people super chatted. I've got a random number generator, one through 22. I'm going to click generate, and that is number six. And number six is joy. Sweet, sweet joy. We've cruised with you a couple of times. You've won some Island Time merch. Joy, I'll get with you. Uh, the website to our spread shop is in the description of this video. You're gonna get to pick out whatever you want. You want a shirt, a hat, a cup, whatever it is, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna buy it and send it to you. Congratulations, Joy, on winning the giveaway. Let's get two tips and tricks. Let's get right to it. I cruise with my kiddos. I'll let you know they're ages six, and two, okay, so that's the reference point there. We cruised in March of 2022. Keep in mind that there were COVID protocols in place, so some of these tips and tricks are in response to those or to prepare you for those. Let's get started with this because we're going down this list. Here we go. Number one, age plays a huge role in protocols. Hopefully when you watch this, there are no protocols, but in spring of 2022, we still have them. Check your protocols as they vary per cruise line from mandatory vaccinations for kids for certain ages to what children can do on board if they're vaccinated or not vaccinated to what children can do on port. Can you get off and explore on your own? Royal Caribbean, yes, right now you can in March of 2022. Carnival, you must book a carnival excursion in March of 2022, so check your protocols before you book. It could change your cruise experience. Number two, you must pay for your trip in full before you apply for an exemption. That's right, if you have kids who are not vaccinated, ages five through 11 right now, you have to book your cruise, pay for your cruise, and then you can fill out the paperwork to see if you can even go on your cruise, to see if you get an exemption. That's just a tip and trick right there. Something you gotta know up front. You pay for it, but you're not sure if you're actually going to go yet. Number three, research added cost for your children cruising with you. Some cruise lines will charge you for COVID testing at the port. A lot of cruise lines are still testing the last sea day. Carnival still charges $150 per child. It's $300 in extra fees on our cruise. Children also pay gratuities. It's automatically added to your account for a seven day cruise with Carnival that is $97.50. So there's $500 in fees there that some people may not think about before they cruise. Make sure you research those costs. Number four, research children's clubs on the ship. The cruise line may have chances or opportunities with a cruise line and their staff will watch your kiddos if they're of a certain age and right now vaccination status. That means that you can go do what you want to do and know that your kids are in good care. Number five, room choice matters. Extra square footage in balcony rooms and suites could make uh, the breathing room in the area that everyone has to calm down and live in uh, that much bigger. Uh, we usually stay in an interior, but when I brought my two kiddos, 
I upgraded to a balcony because they have that extra couch space, extra square footage uh, that was beneficial. Plus, mom and dad get to sit out on the balcony at night when the kiddos sleep. Room choice matters. Number six, room location matters. You need to look at and think about what you're going to do the majority time on the ship. Are you going to be outside? Are you going to be at the arcade? Um, the, the worst thing is with little kiddos is having to travel long distances back and forth across the ship. It's tough, especially with one or two year olds when they still want to be held. We'll get to that here in just a little bit. But look at where you think you're going to spend your time and book a room close to that so that your transporta uh, transportation travel time is as short as can be. Number seven, bring motion sickness medication. Even if you don't think you will need it, it's cheap. It's, it's four or five dollars to mean to bring Dremamine with, uh, that's made for kids or other medications just in case those kiddos get sick you have something there uh, and you can give give the medicine of course before you even leave uh, on sell away party maybe when you get on the ship at lunch you give them um, a Dremamine gummy just to uh, try to get ahead of the game and then see how it plays out but for sure bring motion sickness medications number eight pay attention to the activities on your fun time calendar you may have cruised over and over you know what's going to going to be on the fun time calendar but there may be activities for families that you've never really put your eyes on because you didn't go to those activities. Activities like Build-A-Bear. Carnival has a Build-A-Bear workshop two times on a seven day cruise. Go to it, it is so much fun. There are games, trivia, coloring sessions, ice carving. Look at that fun times calendar, even if you've cruised a lot because there are kids activities. Number nine, feel confident to get off the boat in ports of call. Most of the places that cruise lines go are safe. And what's really neat when you bring kiddos is a lot of times, depending on their age, they are free to attend excursions. So look at those excursions, book the excursions, because good chance is you're going to pay for you and your spouse or your significant other, and your kiddos could be free or heavily discounted. Go explore these local ports, teach the culture and differences and, and, and geography to your kiddos. They will love it. Number 10, ask for the children's menu in the main dining room. Yes, they have a separate menu, menu for kiddos. And chances are you'll probably order something off the menu too. They have everything from chicken nuggets and fries to pizza to grilled cheeses, things like that. But they also have most cruise lines, a banana split, a classic banana split. Uh, you'll probably order that as well. And those the menus are of course interactive like they are here at home. There's word searches and maps and games with crayons. Or ask for that kids menu in the main dining room. Number 10, number 11, bring a portable DVD player. This was very beneficial for us. We drove to Galveston. It was an eight hour drive and we used it then, but we also used it in the room as things calmed down at night. We would put on a movie for the kids. They would watch it while again, mom and dad could relax a little bit. Let's go outside on the balcony let's play some music and the kiddos fall asleep inside so bring that dvd player and some of their favorite movies uh, you can charge it you can plug it into the room and they will have it it will give them a, some uh, some source of, of normalcy like they're at home and it will buy you time number 12 buy your kiddos long sleeve swimsuits they're going to want to be out in the sun. The water parks on these cruise ships are massive. They have splash pads and they have water slides. Your kids are going to want to be out there. Make sure that you buy long sleeve tops for your kiddos. Uh, buy hats that cover the ears and the neck so that they can spend time outside and so can you. If they're playing with splash pad and then the water park, you're raising your hand and saying, hey, I'll take another drink. You can sit there and watch them while they're playing, uh, but make sure that, that they're dressed appropriately and you have sunscreen, most definitely. We use Nor Neut Neutrogena Beach Defense. It's a yellow bottle, 70% SPF. It is really, really good. Um, here we go. Number 13, bring a stroller for young children. We had a deal in our room with our two-year-old that he had to be sitting in the stroller before we even left the room. That was the rule. You know, hey, do you want to go get french fries? Do you want to go play a game? Do you want to go to the water park? Do you want to go to the arcade? Yes, I do. Okay, you have to be sitting in the stroller and just a small collapsible. We bought, actually bought a collapsible stroller uh, for this trip because we wanted something small and compact. Make them sit in the stroller before you leave the room and then go explore the ship. It was beneficial for us. Number 14, use rewards like the arcade or the candy shop 
to help create positive reinforcement for your kiddos. We would say, hey, we're gonna go, it's time to go to dinner, which you know is an hour and a half experience. It can be tough for kiddos. And we told our kiddos, hey, if, if we're good at dinner, we, we eat good and we behave like everybody else, like adults, like young men that you are, we're gonna go play three games in the arcade each, or we're going to go to the candy shop. Use that. That stuff works. You do some of the same things at home. Number 15, go to the shows in the main theater. Your kids will love them. The singing, the lights, the fireworks, they will love that stuff, even though they have no clue what the songs are. They don't know the message between uh, some of those entertainment uh, shows. They will love it. Ours did at six and two. Number 16, use room service. Sometimes simply it was easier to stay in the room than go outside the room. Uh, room service has everything from sandwiches and fries and cookies and drinks drinks uh, that they will bring to you and it's usually relatively quick so sometimes when you're inside especially late at night use that room service uh, instead of getting out we absolutely loved it number 17 bring your own child's cup so you always have access to a drink 24 7 find them a cup that they like okay if you have kiddos you know what i'm talking about Keep that thing filled up so that when it's 8 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, they wake up in the middle of the night, you have something in that cup and you don't have to get out and go in the middle of the night to get something to drink. Number 18, there are many uh, places on board to find fun and games. Go to the library. There's books there. There's games there. You can get free playing cards from guest services. Uh, there's so many places that you can find things to do and games to play. Explore those areas. You may not have ever explored them on your own before. Number 19, bring Ziploc bags for cereal and fruit. Our kiddos like cereal, yours probably do too. In the mornings, you can get that cereal, uh, put it in a Ziploc bag, and now you have snacks all of a sudden um, for, for the rest of the day. I know a lot of times we wanted to go to a C-Day brunch, which again is at least an hour meal, and we would go get cereal uh, for the kiddos before we went to C-Day brunch. That way they could have something to munch on while we ordered our food. Uh, they would be eating, um, and they're not sitting there saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And number 20, bring ducks to hide and look for ducks. I knew about the game before, but bringing my kiddos had completely changed it for me. They love the ducks. Kids love the ducks. So bring, bring ducks. Hide five a day, eight a day. Go look for them. Kids bring their ducks now to the splash pad in the water park. They trade them at activities. So buy those ducks and bring them. Your kiddos will love them. These are 20 tips to help you cruise with your family. I hope you've enjoyed them. I have much more. If you have questions about cruising with kiddos, uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any extra tips that I didn't mention, share them below. We hope you enjoyed our content. If so, give us a thumbs up. And if you're not an Islander yet, we hope that you will subscribe to our channel and we promise to deliver great content to you regarding cruising and cruise news. We'll talk to you later right here on Island Time.